Well, hi there, and welcome to Bella's Vistas. Thanks for visiting. Please like and subscribe. Wow. Well, it's been a really big year with the OM-1. I've had a lot of fun. Got the two times converter here, the 300 millimeter F4. Great combination. Use starry sky focusing. Come on along, we'll show you where we've been. Well, I waited about three and a half months for my OM-1 to arrive. I got a call that it's in. I'm racing to Toronto to pick it up just as fast as I can. Wow. Driving through Quebec, I stopped to shoot a little bit of video here on the water. And what do I see? I quickly switched to C1 and bird detect focusing worked perfectly. Pierce Rock. Did a panorama of Pierce Rock. Once again, bird detect worked perfectly on this seagull. Early morning, low light. I'm really happy with the way the OM-1 works in low light. 300 millimeter on this little bird. Beautiful photo. Now we're in PEI. Here's a shot of the Confederation Bridge. Focus stacking here on the bridge. Parked up our van here for a little bit of a rest by this lighthouse. Now we did a bit of a tour of the lighthouse. It's got some early morning sunrises. And I was checking with the 12 millimeter. What a great shot I got here. Labrador tea with the 60 millimeter macro. What an amazing little plant. Look at the water drops. This is what I wanted to shoot at Rose Blanche. Starry sky autofocus. Worked great with the galaxy in behind the lighthouse. So happy with that. Here I am hiking down there, trudging through the mud. 300 millimeter, two times adapter on it. Great shots. Animal focus worked just great. Set it for kitty cats when you want to photograph big beasts like this. Well, I'm getting ready to come back now. I got my shots. I'm so happy with it. I'm trudging through muck up to my ankles here in sandals. It was, I threw those sandals away, but it was well worth it for the photographs I got. Saw these lady slippers across a ditch on the road. I couldn't get close to them, so I used the long lens, the 300 millimeter, put it on a tripod, and I got some great macro shots. Well, practically macro shots. I'm really happy with them. Cape St. Mary's, Gannets, one of the foremost bird sanctuaries in the world. I had a great time here. You can see the parents defending their baby chick. Just wonderful. The video, I'm really, really happy with the video from my new camera. It's 4K video. Here I'm shooting the birds on the wing with the 300 millimeter and the MC-20. Look how many birds there are here. It's just unbelievable. The noise is amazing. I've been coming back here since the 70s. Now we're in Elliston with some crazy little puffins. I just love photographing these guys. Once again, bird detection worked so good with them. I'm really happy with the focus. This one could be a little sharper. Hoping I'll get something better again. Here I am at Harry's Harbor with the Sentinel Rock. I'm using live comp to get some star trails here. Beautiful work. I'm really happy with it. This is Fred and Simone, the Turns. I got a great shot of them. I'm delighted with it. St. John's Harbor, a little bit of an HDR shot here. This is low light. I'm really happy with this exposure. Once again, down on the harbor with low light shots. The camera's working just wonderful. Peggy's Cove, great shots here once again. Long exposures at 200 ISO. It worked out just great. Handheld. So happy with the results with this camera. Kingfisher, wow, Kingfisher off in the distance. Another one up on a wire here. They're hard to get close to. Bird tracking once again working for me. This is amazing. A fox bringing home lunch. What a catch. We're in Gatineau, Quebec. Some of Mackenzie King's old ruins here. And I'm using various techniques with the 7mm lens. I'm using HDR, I'm using focus stacking. 
and HD, like the high definition 80 megapixel mode, try and get some great pictures. An old building in the Holland Marsh gives us a wonderful subject for a photograph here. A heron off in the distance. Try to shoot a little bit of video of him here. I'm just shooting handheld so it's a little bit shaky. I sometimes wish I had a tripod with me when I don't. Would have been nice to have a tripod on this shot. I think I'm just using my camera bag as a sandbag there for that shot. Now this is a tractor pull sort of thing, it was steam festival. This is late in the day, sun's going down and I'm getting some video here. I think the low light capabilities for video and everything is just amazing on the internet. I'm getting shots that you never would get. Now it's first thing in the morning. This guy's coming in with this homemade uh, little tractor thing. It's kind of a lot of fun here, really. So many things to see. Here they're having a tractor contest, uh, plowing the way it used to be. Now I'm crazy about these old tractors. Some of these steam engines were made in Waterloo, Ontario, like 10 kilometers from where I live. Just amazing to see these things. And they're all in working order. The guys, it's a labor of love that they put into these things. This one here, they're gonna use to steam some corn and everything. Like a spider web. HDR pictures of the water here. Look at this moth. I mean, I'm so happy with the focus on that. It's just great. This was a fun couple of days I spent photographing this train. I got lots of video, lots of stills. It was just great. Old number nine coming down the line here. Coming down the track right beside me. I've done lots of work on this train. Now I'm going to put on a wide angle to 7 to 14 and shoot some HDR images here. Thought I might as well shoot really wide and HDR and try and get some unusual images of the train. I think it succeeded pretty well. Downtown Kitchener handheld with the streetcars. Out in the country. This was pretty amazing. I shot some handheld video here that we slow motioned. I'm really happy. This is handheld and I'm really happy with it. I mean the stabilization on the OM-1 is just great. And these butterflies, I mean, beautiful. I used Pro Capture for this to catch the butterfly taking off. But the focus works just great. I've found myself shooting more insects and birds since I got the OM-1 and the 300. I think birds are just really wonderful to photograph with this. Here's a kingfisher and that's not a bad shot of him. This is amazing. Look at the grain here on this wood duck and then with the new Lightroom Noise reduction in the new Lightroom is fabulous. Some other wild little birds that I photographed. Here's an egret catching a fish. Little black capped chickadee. Then we went to take some pictures of the escarpment. Tried to get some shots here. I've been photographing this since the 80s. Lots of HDR shots here. 
This is focus stocked. I think this is focus stocked too. It's just a great shot. There's Bella. She's our namesake for our website. This fellow was paddle boarding. I think it's a great shot. We're by the dark sky park and there's a conservation area right there. I got some wonderful shots there. Here we got some star trails towards the east. Here's pointed towards the North Star. You can see the North Star right in the middle and the stars circling around it. Some nebula shots that I did. Andromeda Galaxy. And the Milky Way here. Now this house, this is the best I've ever seen this house lit up. And we did some variations on it from a standard shot of it like this to HDRing it a bit and turning it into an oil paint effect. Here you can see a standard shot and then when I shoot HDR on it, I have C4 on my camera set up for HDR. This is HDR as well. I just click the camera to C4 and then I can shoot HDR like this. When I'm on C4, I get single focus and three exposures automatically. Here we are at Port Dover photographing some ice. Now I tried to HDR this quite a bit too. Just a simple matter of switching to C4. Watch my exposure. The sky's getting kind of crazy in the background. You know, you might think it's a bit over done or too much, but you know, it's a little variety, I think. This is one of my favorite shots. This is HDR. That's my owl in the ice. This is an owl taking off. I'm really happy with that one. I waited all day for that. Sometimes we find the owls and catch them flying off of a pole. Sometimes they're in the field and I like to catch them taking off too. This owl is way in the distance and there were heat waves in the air. Once again a C4, I just switch my camera to C4 and get an HDR shot. Some variations on a theme here. I quite like this, I'm not sure why. Wow, handheld video. I think with the 40 to 150 lens and I'm hand holding it and it's not all that shaky. I'm pretty happy with it really. There's one of the HDR shots of it. Another variation. Wow, look at this. I can just switch my camera to C1 and I get a shot like this on branches. And I could use C2. When I use C2, I get a slower shutter speed. But I found it's better to go in with C1. These eagles caught them taking off. Beautiful shots with the eagles, I think. There I am, C4, HDR shot. Once again, switch to C4, shoot HDR. Oh, getting boring. C4 HDR again. Wow, the moon is rising. It was so cold that night I could hardly handle my camera at all. Beautiful owl. I'm shooting video with the OM-1 with the 40 to 150 lens. I was so lucky to get so close to this owl. I'm just delighted with the video and stills that I got. This is with the 40 to 150. I mean, wow, you can't get much closer. Here's a heron coming in for a landing. Here he is up on the post. These were shot at very high ISO and noise reduced in Lightroom. I can't emphasize enough how great the noise reduction in Lightroom is. 
I think it's the best I've ever seen. Now, this is low light, sun's gone down, shooting video, and I caught this heron catching the fish. Pretty happy with this. I wish it was bright sun cooking the room. This is what it was, and this is what it was. Every intention of trying to get more shots. Again, this is dark. Late in the day, the sun's gone down. The camera's still working just fine. Bird focus here, and look at that. Subject detection set for bird. And he's flying there. This is 25,000 ISO, I believe. We've reduced the noise in Lightroom. Worked out really good. HDR, I just switch to C4 and I get HDR. Look at these guys dancing across the water. Got to use a high shutter speed for that. Here's a northern flicker right in our backyard. Little cardinal here with the buds coming out all around him. Skunk bouncing along in our backyard. My favorite robin shot that I have with the sunset coming in and a beautiful background. I like this bird looking into the sunset. My eagles here, they're close to home. Just love going to the eagle's nest and photographing them. They're such majestic birds. Look at the way he's looking into the nest. Here's the pair of them up on the nest. I'm just delighted to see these two up there. The tree's moving in the breeze a little bit. There's the baby eagle, wow. There were two, but there's only one there now. I, I don't know what happened. But I'm hoping for great things here. I intend to go there as much as I can to photograph these two. Beautiful family there. Look at the little baby looking out over his domain. Going out looking for lunch again, I think. The birds are cooling off in the shade here a little bit. I think that's what they're doing. Here's the one eagle coming in with a fish for the baby. I think they're really good parents. They spend a lot of their time out hunting looking for food. I'm so happy with this video of the greater yellow legs. It's a really fun video. Since I got the OM-1, I've been shooting a lot more video and a lot more long shots of birds. The greater yellow legs, I think, is a beautiful bird. Look at this. And they walk so daintily through the water sometimes. Now this is handheld with my 7 to 14 millimeter lens. I think the stabilization is just great. It wouldn't kill you to carry a light tripod, but it's a lot better without running around a lot faster. Shooting the Sun's going down. Look at this. I find that when I'm just shooting with a camera and a lens, I can get a lot more locations covered. Even if I've got the backpack on, so I, wow, look at the deer. A kill deer, wow, in flight. Wow, look at these little tiny fly catchers. I'm so happy with them. Yellow warbler. Baltimore oriole. Baltimore oriole taking off. Wow, this is a little bit exaggerated. That's the Bonaparte gull and me photographing him. I was shooting him with the long lens and my red dot sight really helped with this. Little wing touch here on the Bonaparte gull.
and the owl, I can't believe my good fortune to have a campsite with an owl nest right on the corner of it. Look at the sun setting and lighting up the side of the owl. There's such beautiful birds to see. We went through Rondo Park and I took a little tour. A red tanger. Look at this. A rose-breasted grosbeak. Now you can see what's happening. This is a time lapse. You see all the stars rotating around the North Star in the middle. There you can see the North Star when we combine the images for a star trail. Pinwheel Galaxy with a nebula in it. I was so fortunate to capture this. Some of my nebula shots that I got. Loving it here. Love to go back to Burley Falls. Stony Lake, Love Sick Lake, and Burley Falls. Been going there for like over 40 years. Such a beautiful place to photograph. This was in Algonquin Park. He made such a ruckus in the leaves that I had to photograph him. Little goldfinch songbird look at this grackle now doesn't he look serious the bird focus works just great look at that wow you just wouldn't be able to get that any other way another one of my osprey shots Look at this, here's the osprey bringing in a fish. Just delightful. Here's the sun setting on him. Here's the osprey looking off into the sunset. Beautiful shot, I think. Uh, Baltimore Oriole on the wing. There's a pretty busy background on this, but still. Look at the little grasshopper. <laughs> This is the jumping spider. I'm so happy I got this. A fly with the 60 millimeter macro. Using remote controlled flash here. Some little flowers focus stacked. Worked out really well, I think. Here I am photographing some swamp iris. Wow, this is with the 60 millimeter macro lens. This is with the 40 to 150. This is a C4, that's a HDR image. Wow, seven millimeter lens, HDR, going down the path. <laughs> 